In terms of people hearing music for free or not, I mean, I, I've never been the kind of act that sells so many records that I'm uh, that I'm making a living from from my records. I've always made a living playing on the road. Right. Uh, I, thankfully, I sold enough records to be able to keep my job at the record company, and I'm grateful for that because right. that job at the record company enabled me to go out on the road. And the fact is, those records produced music that in turn gave people the means or the motivation to want to come see you, right? Exactly, and, and so as yep. long as people come to my shows, you know, I, I couldn't be happier. But you're correct that, that you're not a typical recording artist over the years whose bread and butter was number one record, number one record, number one record, or that it was all about is there a single on this record or what have you, right? Exactly, my, yeah. my, uh, my producer at MCA Records, Tony Brown, who was in charge of A&R and really was uh, well, my champion at MCA. I mean, right. He stuck up for me and really uh, helped my career. Uh, he, he would look at me sideways sometimes and he'd say, you know, you may not cross over, but you might cross under. <laughs> Cross under. <laughs>